few years ago, I found these zombie flamingos at the store, and I thought they'd be pretty cool. But when I opened them up, I was a little disappointed. First of all, this is not a zombie. This is obviously a vampire. Zombies do not have sharp teeth. Second of all, I was really disappointed in the eyes. They're just these regular plastic red eyes, and I really felt that they should glow in the dark. So I got some battery packs and some red LEDs, and I built a simple circuit where turning on the battery pack would make the eyes glow red. And I thought that was pretty cool, but I was annoyed that I had to turn it on and off manually, and I thought it'd be better if the eyes would just automatically turn on at night and turn off during the day. So I drew up a new schematic that would incorporate a photoresistor to detect ambient light and change whether or not the circuit was on or off. I got it working using this little breadboard I got for Christmas. And then just to be sure I was going to translate that properly into a real circuit, I built this circuit on a program called Tinkercad. I wired it all together and boom, it works. And that was very exciting, but then I had to figure out what to do about the battery pack. And instead of cutting open Flamingula 2.0 and shoving it inside her belly, I decided that I would simply put it in a Ziploc bag to protect it from the rain and strap it to her back and hide the whole thing with this cute little cat costume. It's a vampire cape for cats that a bunch of people complained about was too small for their cats, which makes it pretty much perfect for Flamingula. So there we have it. Flamingula 2.0 is up and running and ready to frighten passersby.